At the bottom of a mud pool, in the murky Amazon waters, you hatch from a tiny egg. Congratulations! You are now an Electrophorus electricus, the electric eel. And yes, you will live up to your name. But not yet. For now, you don't even have the voltage of a single battery. But don't worry, you'll be a Tesla in time. Your mom's not around. Because you don't have a mom. There's only your father and he's been waiting alone for months with thousands of eggs in his mouth. Yes, in his mouth. Because electric eel dads protect their eggs by hiding them in underwater plants and then keeping them in their mouths. Superhero, you say? No, just a slightly overprotective fish. When you and your thousands of siblings hatch, your father finally opens his mouth and releases you into the wild waters of the Amazon with a get-out-and-survive-on-your-own look. No joke. This is neither a swimming lesson nor a survival lesson. You start with the philosophy that whatever you find in the water is yours. The first days are tough. You can't electrocute anyone yet. You can only chase plankton and insect larvae. It's not very cool, but manage. Because things will change as you grow up. It will change a lot. The first few months are like a survive and hide simulation for you. Because you're surrounded by fish, birds, and even snakes that want to devour you. Being an electric eel doesn't give you any advantage yet. Your voltage is low, your hope is high. But over time, special electric organs begin to develop in your body. Main organ. Hunter's organ, and Sachs organ. They are all special muscle tissues that have evolved to generate electricity. Now you can gradually send electrical signals. Low voltage but functional. This low voltage works like sonar. With electrical signals, you feel the objects and living things around you. You don't see with your eyes, you see with voltage. So you are born as a blind fish of the Amazon and grow up as a Jedi who sees with electro radar. You're about a year old. Now you can generate not just 1 to 2 volts, but up to 600 volts of electricity, like sticking a finger into an electrical socket. Yes, that's right. That makes you the Amazon stun gun. Now it's easier for you to fish. Got any food? Pat! With two quick shots, you shock and paralyze your prey. Then, boom, in the stomach. Small fish, crabs, frogs, sometimes even birds are on your menu. Because you not only generate electricity, you use it in a technical way. You control your environment with low voltage and neutralize your prey with high voltage. Even Elon Musk tips his hat to this efficiency. One day, a snake tries to hunt you. You immediately discharge high voltage three times in quick succession. The snake shudders away. The Amazon's rule is clear. Either you're prey or you're electrocuted. When she reaches her second birthday, a new excitement enters her life. Mating. But the love life of electric eels is measured more by voltage than by feeling love. Females make decisions based on the low-voltage flirting signals sent by males. It's like Tinder, but on current. If the female is attracted, mating begins. The male protects the eggs she lays, and the cycle begins again. Family bonds are strong, but short-lived. When the chicks hatch, it's every man for himself. The older you get, the lonelier you get. Because electric eels live alone. You're a territorial creature. You mark your territory and scare away other fish with your electricity. Social interaction, none. Parties, no partying. You're not friendly, but you're a natural deterrent. Your days are the same. A few low-voltage sweeps to start the morning. Where's what? Who's near? Who's far? Then you go hunting. Once you have a lock on the target, you finish the job with a 400 to 600 volt shock. All that's left to do is swallow it. Occasionally, you'll even jump out of the water. Yes, that's right. You put yourself on land to shock threats out of the water. As if underwater wasn't enough, you've become an electro hunter by jumping on top of it. When you approach 10 years, your electricity starts to weaken. Your shocks are no longer as effective. Your prey becomes harder to catch. Your reactions slow down. Your body has also grown, by the way. You can reach about 2 meters. So you're a giant creature, but you're running low on energy. You used to be Amazon's power bank, but now even wireless charging doesn't work. Over time, you start to move less and less. Whereas you used to scour muddy riverbanks, now you spend most of your day resting in the shade. When you were young, you could shoot 400 shocks per second. Now it's barely four. One morning, as the Amazon River flows as usual, you feel something has changed. The water tastes different. Even the sunlight is paler. Your body feels heavy. A thought echoes in your mind. I'm done. You send one last low-voltage scan. Your surroundings are silent. No prey, no predator. Just the calm vibration of the water. You take a deep breath. Yes, because you can breathe air too. 
electric eels are not satisfied with oxygen in the water, they surface every 10 minutes and inhale real air into their lungs. Let's not forget this detail. You surface one last time. You take the humid air of the Amazon into your lungs. Then you float to the bottom. Your torso curls like spaghetti. Your electrical organs are silent. And you return to the muddy riverbed where you were born.